If you want to learn how to make your CPU look like this from this, then stay tuned. It's your boy FPS. Welcome to another video. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to lower that CPU usage so we can get some better frame rates in games or just get overall better performance on our PC if we aren't into gaming. If you aren't playing games and are still having CPU usage issues, there's probably something wrong with your computer if it can't just go on Google Chrome and watch a YouTube video. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. If you have 100% CPU usage, it's possible that your CPU has something broken. So just keep that in mind going into this. But if you're playing games at 100% CPU usage, we could fix that right here. So let's get into it. If you have not yet subscribed, though, subscribe. And if you are looking for a new computer ever, links are down below in the description. Right now, we only have the mid tier and the high tier since GPU prices are outrageous. It's very impossible to build a computer under $1,000 at the moment. It's unfortunate, but if you are looking for those, those are down below. First links in the description there. But we're going to go ahead and start with things that we always do in all these videos because these do pay a contributing factor into your CPU usage. So first of all, we can get out of task manager for this second, but just go down here, hit power and you should see power and sleep settings pop up. So just hit your windows key and do that. Once you see it, click on this and then go over here. Once you're into this screen, go to additional power settings and turn this on high performance. If you don't see anything other than balance and you're on like a stock laptop, hit create power plan and then make high performance by simply going like that. This is just gonna push your computer to actually go to its max capabilities without overclocking or anything crazy like that. Next thing is go back to this task manager. If you don't know how to pull that up, right click on your taskbar and hit task manager. I'm up here and you'll see everything that is currently running. Background process is something we gotta focus on a lot here because some of these actually do take a little bit you're going to want to end those tasks first of all, but to make them never come up again, go up to startup and find the things that you don't need. Say, for example, right when you're logging into your computer, you have all of these apps that open in the background. If you have this enabled every time you log in, it's going to ask to update your computer and all this is doing just slowing down your computer. And then it just runs in the background for the whole day. So disable this or disable anything else that you might think is causing any performance issues in this category. Some of those might include Google Chrome. Once you close tabs, you'll see that some of these are still playing in the background and I only have one tab open. So what you could do is just simply end the task and then launch back up your tab if you are having this issue and it should reset that. Next up, come back down to the Windows tab that we've been clicking on, type in notifications, and this will eventually pop up notification and action settings. Click on this and then we are gonna be onto this screen right here where it will most likely be on and it most likely all of these will be checked. Now this is gonna change per person, but I like to have these all off personally. But if you do like to have everything else on, then go ahead. I like to turn all these things off. They aren't helping your computer any. Next up, we need to find our computer. So just type in computer and you should find something like this. You could right click this and then go into properties. Properties is going to take you to a screen that shows you everything about your current computer and what it has inside of it. Here you'll see your processor, but better yet, come over here, hit advanced system settings, and you'll get to see a lot more. From here, just hit device manager, come down into processors. This will show you your processor again, but we need to go down to system devices. Try going to high precision event timer and hit disable device. For some computers, this may not work. So if anything starts feeling stuttery, turn this back on but for most intel computers no intel computers this is the solution especially to those laptops or really cheap low-end computers this helps really fix out the stuttering and lagging in your computer now just exit out of that tab and we should be back in this area where we see the properties of our processor come here to the performance and hit settings turn off everything you don't need for me i just have these four on you could copy these or you could put other things they all do stuff that is completely cosmetic but also when it's going it does affect your cpu indirectly so all of these things could help you so do go ahead and do this if you like them all off then do that but i do like a few things on like i have the hovering on so you could actually see the hovering and some other things there next thing you need to do specifically for people that whenever they move their mouse it goes from zero to 100 percent on the task manager the common issue with old laptops come back to your search and type in storage storage settings should pop up 
here let all of this stuff allocate up and it'll show you your entire local disk and just go ahead and let this wait up and then hit temporary files and clear out all of the files that are here this is something holding your computer back go ahead do this clear out everything every single optimization video has this where you clear out the files because it's extremely important that you delete things like this you'll probably find files up to 50 60 70 gigabytes if you've never cleared this before and most of those are in your downloads this is from the downloads folder it's not going to delete everything that you've ever downloaded keep that in mind if it's in your downloaded folder it will get deleted so just move it out of your download folder if you want to keep it or just uncheck this one and you could do that you can uncheck any one that you see that you want to keep but you don't want to keep any other one i can't imagine next i want you guys to hit the windows key which brings up this and r at the same time it should pop up this right here on the bottom left now we want to type in exactly what i'm typing so that is d f r g u i and then hit okay find your c disk this is going to be the one that has windows downloaded on it and hit optimize okay once it does that it's going to trim things and everything will be good now just remember to always optimize these every once in a while if your computer is doing good and then it starts chipping first thing is update your drivers second thing is optimize your drives and i specifically recommend optimizing your windows drive if yours hasn't been trimmed in a while it's going to take a lot longer than it just took me right there another thing you could do here is schedule optimization so you can change your settings so it'll optimize at a certain setting so the best way to do this is just come here you could say daily weekly monthly however much you would want to do it however much your computer needs it weekly works fine for me you could do whatever you want though now head on back to your task manager and go ahead and find things for this people with the low end pcs you're going to find windows things down here and if you're at 100 percent occupancy it's because of this the service host is right here some of these end up being very 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 extremely to your CPU. In my computer's case, it has no problem, but that's because I do things like this. Go on to whichever one you see that's having issues. If they are, if not, then you could skip past this part of the video. But once you find which one it is, come down here and type in services. Click on services. Go ahead and find whatever name it is. It's not going to be this. It's going to be whatever's after that. So AVC, whatever, TP. So once you find it, go ahead and hit this and then tap restart. It should help fix out what it's doing, whatever it's doing. It should fix it out. And once you're done with that, restart your computer. See if it does it again. And at that point, you should probably Windows reset. If after all of this and you still have nothing working out for you, you need to just do a full Windows reset, put all of your storage that you need on an external and hard reset your computer. That is really the last step before you take it into a computer shop or fix it yourself or just grab a hammer and put it through the monitor screen. I would wait a minute and actually try to reset your Windows or reset your computer entirely. Now, please, lastly, before you leave this, go over to Windows and type in D. You'll see Windows Security. Click on this and run a scan you can do a full scan or you could just come over here and do a quick scan it should find anything that is hurting your computer usually people with stuck with that 100 percent cpu are right here in the quick scan area you scan it see what's a threat to you if it's a threat and you don't need it delete it now once you're done scanning hit scan options and i would tap on this one and do it okay this will make your computer restart for the moment but it will delete them as they come and it will remind you when you need to actually clear out some things because viruses do happen specifically on windows computers quite a lot so remember to always keep up to date on this but hopefully this helped you in any way and i hope your cpu usage goes down in games or at least if it was on that 100 it's going to go down a little bit i'm assuming that it's not just going to be perfect day one i definitely hope it helped at least a little bit next step is of course to restart windows entirely and then the step after that is to replace the processor entirely but if your processor is good and it's still at 100 i would take this thing into a computer shop with a licensed professional that can at least push you in the right direction or fix it for a lower cost than buying an entire cpu or even worse having to buy an entire new computer based off of just one small glitchy thing that happens sometimes on older laptops and older computers 